What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. Sure have missed you guys. I have been uh, slacking it and kind of busy with the kids. Things of that nature, you know, things happen and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, most importantly, I just want to say thank you guys to all of you guys for sticking around, hanging out. Uh, I had a lot of, uh, you know, comments and messages. Hey, everything going good? It's not that uh, I haven't had anything to record or make content of, but it's just been, I've been busy. So I was here in uh, San Antonio in the 210, and uh, the reason I, I was in San Antonio was due to my kids uh, band. They ended up making it to the state champions uh, band, and they competed against some of the very best bands. And uh, so that's what I was doing in San Antonio. So that in itself, uh, going to competitions every single weekend for pretty much non nonstop from September, the end of September, all the way to October, uh, kept us really, really busy. Not only that, I picked up uh, mountain biking. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the last video, I don't know if you guys got to check it out. Check it out though, you know, if you want to see me get wiped out and see some pretty funny stuff. But the views are great, just like reefing. Um, it's a big challenge, just like reefing. And uh, you can push yourself uh, to do better every single time. I've been uh, riding my bike whenever I can. So that has also gotten in the way. But uh, you know what, I'm, it's time to get the uh, priorities straight. Go ahead and uh, do some good videos, do some good updates. And once again, I just want to say thank you guys to everybody for you know hanging in there, subscribing, messaging me, um, and following me on the Instagram. Uh, those of you who don't know, uh, same username as my YouTube. But some of the fun stuff, and uh, here comes some uh, reef tank updates coming at you right now although i've been gone i have a lot of things going on with the reefing I have different projects going on um pretty much uh and I, this video right here we're just going to concentrate on the 150 gallon tank so what i wanted to do which i did last night was actually uh started to test my tank because my tank is going through some um phases some issues uh, and I think it's because I haven't done a water change. So the only way to Wrigley uh, figure that out is to go ahead and do some uh, tests. Uh, these are all the Niles kits. I like them. They're pretty simple. And um, I, you know what? I keep them in the boxes. The reason why is because I keep them organized. Because typically I'm, I'm a person that opens the box, throws away the box, and then I have all kinds of test crap all over the place. So... What I've learned in reefing, just go ahead and keep the box, kind of think, keep things neat, and that way you can be organized. But more importantly, let's talk about the alkalin alkalinity. My alk was at 7, um, which is not too bad. I My doser even ran out of fluid. Um, then my nitrates were at 10. Magnesium was at 1,200. So things weren't <laughs> really too bad. My calcium, though, was at 350. Um, so some of the things that I'm having problems with is my chalices. They're dying. So I don't know if it's because uh, my tank is hungry. Um, so what I'm going to do is target feed. But I'm going to target feed with some uh, chemicals. Target feeding with the uh, polyp labs and the reef chili and things like that is cool. But I think uh, with amino acids... Uh, the corals can take it in a lot easier. Uh, I'm using fuel right now, thanks to my buddy Javier. He gave me some, but normally I use the Acro Power. Um, SPS looks okay, uh, but it's weird because my chalices are the ones that are hurting. My LPS are hurting, um, so I'm gonna use you know fuel and Acro Power, and I'm also use some of that uh, like Refroids for the LPS. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that. I do want to show you 
my tank um, it is getting overrun with bubble algae uh, you better be careful with the bubble algae because especially with zoas the bubble algae will cover up the zoas and uh, before you know it your zoas will be gone um, I am gonna beef up this cleaning crew I'm gonna stick some emerald crabs I did have some like one or two emerald crabs I don't know what happened to them but uh, it's time to bump that up the anemones uh, they're beautiful but they're also a pain in the butt um, this guy right here is underneath the rock, but um, during the day he comes out and he touches everything around him. And those of you don't who don't know, the anemones will sting and bleach out your corals, uh, have a vicious bite to them. I would like to go ahead and get some uh, get rid of some of these anemones because uh, even though they're really nice, they kind of limit your tank because they want to be moving around. Um, so if you're local and you want some, hit me up and we can talk about that. Uh, what I did do is I get my uh, Eheim tongs and I just tap the anemones so the anemones can retract a little bit. Does It's not going to do anything really, but um, whenever I see it getting too close to my SPS, I go ahead and tap it. Check it out. Like I said, I could easily hide my uh, my failures and things that are going on. But my one of my favorite chalices, the Miami Hurricane, it's starting to get algae on its skeleton. Uh, it's dying off. It has die off, and I thought it was because of my tank parameters. I don't know what's going on here, um, but you can see that it's clearly hurting. So what I'm going to try to do is save it. Um, big, big piece. I got this little piece from uh, Cultivated Reef, and it took over the whole shelf rock. And as you can see, it's hurting. More LPS, ACANs are hurting. I don't know what's going on. Drop me a comment down below. Uh, you guys are the pros. I'm just, you know, clearly documenting what's been going on with my tank. I haven't done a water change at all, but uh, today is going to be tank maintenance day. And uh, But before I do the tank maintenance, I'm just going to give you an update to show you guys what's going on and uh, get some feedback from you guys. That big, big Aptasia right there used to have some coral on there, but since there's no coral, I'm going to go ahead and pull out that rock, and uh, I'm gonna just going to throw that whole thing away because that Aptasia is out of control. Um, so is this like green algae that I have going on. It's in the, the left corner of my reef tank, and uh, I don't know what's going on here. I think I might need to add some more flow. Or do something because uh, it's looking like a mess. Um, I am going to be hooking up that um, algae turf scrubber. If you look back in my past videos, I've used the uh, Santa Monica filtrations algae turf scrubber before, and that thing was legit. So hopefully, once I have that thing online, it'll help me out with some of this nuisance algae uh, in my reef tank, and this green crap can go away. Some of my zoas. These are the rainbow hornet. Zoas are doing good, um, even though they're covered up. But you see this right here, the scroll coral is looking a little bit beat up. Um, we're Like I said, drop me some comments below for the feedback. Love to hear what you say. I don't care if it's uh, criticism, as long as it's uh, constructive and can lead me in the right direction. Uh, you can tell me whatever you want, but uh, as long as it's helpful. Even my uh, return... My flow, my regular pumps, right, that I have got going on. The coral boxes that I picked up from uh, reefbreeders.com. Hit that link down below so that way I can get some kind of credit. But um, these things are getting full with the bubble algae. I'm going to be taking these things out today and cleaning them off because they are definitely dirty, reducing my flow. And uh, bubble algae is just one of those ugly things that uh, I wish would we could uh, get rid of. I have thought about adding some additional flow. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing later on after the uh, Christmas break, um, I'm thinking about getting some gyres and that way I can add them to my uh, tank and keep you know the, these on the side and then I have some uh, like a gyre in the middle or something like that. I think would be pretty sweet. Coral wise I really haven't done too much to my tank um haven't really added nothing the last thing that i did 
where I actually ordered, had a bunch of SPS I got from um, my local fish store, the Coral Reef. Got them from Allen. Most of those SPS are doing okay and still alive. Some of them I did kill, and we'll go ahead and do an update on that in another video. I just want to kind of show you where the tank is now and where we're going, what plans I have in the uh, future. So as equipment wise, I really didn't take advantage of any uh, Black Friday sales because I pretty much have what I want. I do want to just add like a gyre uh, later on and we'll do that into 2019. But the lights I'm happy with, um, the T5s, they've been working great. I have the Coral Plus and a ATI Blue Plus on there. And the fixture itself is the Reef Breeders Photon 50 inch. It covers my tank really nice. Um, it looks more natural on the 150 than the 180 because the 180 was a six foot tank and I was using the uh, same lighting on that. So since I went down to a five foot tank, looks a lot better in my opinion. I did end up getting a separate tank. I got an Innovative Marine 25 gallon Lagoon. I picked that one up from Marine Depot and I got rid of the 40 gallon breeder um, setup that I had with the uh, acrylic tank that my buddy Matt made for me. Uh, so I still don't have the acrylic tank up and running. I'm kind of just enjoying the uh, Lagoon and we'll give you an update on that bad boy on the next week video. So that way this video won't be too, too long. As far as fish wise, um, I did lose the powder blue tang. I had mentioned that in the last past video, but uh, I haven't added anything new. Um, I was finally able to get a hold of two Harlequin shrimp. Um, picked one up from my buddy Enrique. He placed an order. And then the other one I picked up at um, my local fish store, Coral Reef. But now I need to go ahead and pick up some chocolate chips. I still have Asterina here and there, those starfish, but not too much as I did in the uh, past. So I'm going to keep these harlequins, get them uh, nice and healthy, and uh, hopefully they go at it, eat all those little Asterina starfish because they are a pain in the butt. Um, this guy is doing really good in my tank. I When I introduced them to my tank, didn't see them for a while. But now that he's starting to come out more at night, I'm starting to, you know, get worried about him and get some uh, chocolate chip starfish for him. I had also finally got a hold of some uh, dragon breath macroalgae. Um, I think this stuff is going to look awesome. I'm going to pit it in the uh, frag tank. I'm not going to pit it in here with the 150 because of the tanks. I don't want them to eat it. This is more like a decorative macroalgae. And it has a really nice uh, color to it. And as you can see, I got hooked up with this big old ball from my LFS. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I just want to say thank you guys again. Hope you guys are doing really good. Thanks for sticking around. And the, don't worry, the videos will be coming once again. You guys have a good one. Like and subscribe. You guys take care. I definitely miss you guys.